So I just want to take a quick second before we get started and thank you guys for taking the time to cook with Callie and me. I just want to let you know we're trying our best with all the ingredients we have around the house because we can't go to the store as much as we like right now. So this may not be the typical way we always make tacos or maybe the way you do it in your family, but we're going to give it a go with what we have here in the pantry. All right. Check it out, guys. And I tried to bring in some math facts for you, some counting, some fractions, some measuring. So see if you can guess the answers before I give them to you. Miss you guys. We can't go to the store as often as we like, so we're gonna make, we're gonna start by making some red beans, okay? okay? We need one cup of red beans. Can you help me fill up one cup? Okay. Hey guys, he spilled this. Uh oh, here comes Simba. Good thing he can't get up on the counter. All right, what do you think? Is that a full cup? Yep. Put it into the pot. Can you pour it into the pot? Good job! Making a pot. All right, now we need to do three cups of water. All right, we got two cups. Do you want to pour the two cups in? Yeah. We needed three cups of water. We already did two cups. Three minus two is one. one. We need to put in a tablespoon of oil. But I only have a half tablespoon. So we'll need to do two halves, because one half plus one half equals one whole. Let this cook in the pressure cooker, and then when it's done, we'll be able to season it. I'm gonna cut tomatoes. Let's see, I think we should count out 10 tomatoes. Can you help me count 10 tomatoes? Yeah. Pick up one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's good. We needed ten tomatoes, right? Eleven. Eleven. Okay, one extra for good luck. Okay, I want to cut this one. Okay, cut it. All right, Cal, let's see if we can get a cup of onions. Do you think we can fill the whole cup? Yeah. Uh, I don't like onions, just bite them. I know you don't like them, but you like to help cut them, right? Yeah. I right, cut those up nice and tiny. Let's see if we've got enough to fill up the piggy cup, okay? So over here we are letting the meat brown and then we're going to talk more about our seasonings for the meat. Sometimes I make my own taco seasoning but I don't have every ingredient I want right now so we're going to use a pre-made one and take a look at what we need to do there. All right so now we're going to add some onions to the meat. Can you help me add the onions Cal? Yeah, 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 yeah. Carefully put those in the pan. Mm. All right so we are going to add 
some pre-made taco seasoning mix, right? I like it. And if we look, here's our directions. Okay, so Kel, we have about two pounds of ground beef. So we're gonna need to add a half cup of taco seasoning. We needed to add three fourths of a cup okay. of water for each pound of beef. But we have two pounds of beef. So we're gonna need to do three quarters plus three quarters. Okay. So three fourths plus three fourths is six fourths or one and a half cups. So I'm gonna fill this up to one and a half cups. put this in the fridge to chill till dinner. Third and fourth graders, I have a division question for you. We have some mini tortilla bowls and we love these in our house. Do you, do you love these? But we have 12 of them and four people in our house. Mrs. Partika, Mr. Partika, Callie, and Maddie. So if we have 12 taco bowls yeah, two. and we're gonna share them with four people, how many taco bowls will each person get? Think about it and I'll give you the answer at the end. A little bit of hot sauce and our tacos. Do dragons like spicy tacos? Yeah, they do. They got two bowls. They like tacos, but what happens when the dragons have spicy tacos? They breathe fire. All right, so we're gonna let our meat finish cooking. Our beans are just about done and then we're gonna add some flavor into our beans and then we will be ready to plate our tacos and have dinner. How does that sound? Um, no, I want to go first. No, yeah, well, oh my gosh. We can totally go read Dragons Love Tacos while we wait for the beans to finish cooking. How does that sound? Our red beans finished pre-cooking in the pressure cooker. So we're gonna add a couple things to kind of season them up, throw them back in the pressure cooker for a few minutes, and then dinner will be ready. So we're actually gonna add a cup of salsa. But let's take a second to make this into a fraction lesson again. So I've got my half cup. How many halves make a whole? One half plus one half makes one whole. So we're gonna need to do two half cups to get a whole. See, this is kind of one of those things where I don't have everything I need on hand. I don't have cilantro, but I have some that's mixed in with my guacamole mix. So we're gonna add a little bit of that to keep some of those flavorings. So we're gonna add a half tablespoon of the guacamole seasoning. So it has some other stuff, not just the cilantro in it, um, but at least it's, it's something. Right now, you know, we all have to make do with what we have. I have my half tablespoon out. And I really don't want to dirty anything else right now, so I need a whole tablespoon of this seasoning. So I'm going to do two halves again, like with my cup, to get one full. Good job, friends. And we're gonna stay, finish it out with some paprika. And then finally, we need some minced garlic, which is one of my favorite things. And Mr. Bertica always complains I put too much garlic in everything I cook, but Callie, Maddie, and I love garlic. Okay, so let's see if we can make this one final math lesson. One tablespoon is actually three teaspoons. So if I need a tablespoon and I only have a teaspoon, I would have to do it three times. One teaspoon times three, equals a tablespoon, so we'll do it three times. Hi guys! All right, so now we're back and we're gonna finish making our taco, right? Everything cooked? And my dad is here, guys. My dad is here, his name is Mike.
And this is Maddie. This is Maddie. This is Maddie. All right, so earlier I gave my third and fourth graders a math problem. I said if we had 12 and four people, do you know the answer, Cal? How old are you? Three. Three, that's the answer. We can each have three soft tacos if we want. So Cal, let's put together your soft taco. All right, are you and Dragon gonna go eat now? Yeah. Yeah, because dragons, what do they love? Tacos. Dragons love tacos. Can you say bye to everybody? Bye, George. It's a big taco for the dragon, me. There's one bean. <laughs>